Hey guys, it's Dustin here, the Pro Picker. So uh, in the car here, was gonna shoot this outside. Too windy to do so. Uh, probably kill you if you were wearing headphones and listening to it. So I've got uh, packages in the back there, ready to ship. Gonna take that out to UP or USPS. Uh, we do have some UPS going out later this afternoon, um, which we handle differently. And uh, yeah, with that, I'm gonna go hit some thrift stores. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, turning on the bell notifications so you can stay up to date with all my cool reselling resale videos and uh, with that uh, let's go hit it all right guys so I'm going into the local Goodwill and so a little bit different video today in the sense of this is actually gonna be a couple days of picking so as I said in the intro there, we're going to hit a couple thrift stores and then I'm actually going to hit the same ones again because I find some really cool stuff. So grabbing my cart here and getting ready to see what I can find at the Goodwill store. This one's uh, the one that I'm at the most. As uh, you all probably know, it's right next to my local post office. So pretty convenient. I don't know what shoe I saw there that I was so interested in. Going down this aisle, because as uh, you'll note in my last video, I had crazy luck in this aisle. So just wanted to see if this time around it was going to happen again. That clock looks a lot nicer than it feels. So this star shower, I'm just going to point out, it was $8. These usually sell for like 50 bucks. I didn't test it in store. The store does have a return policy, but it's still got to like have the sticker on it. Then you have to have the receipt. So um, it didn't work. So I'm kind of going to be a little bit burned on it, unfortunately. But that does happen. This solitaire, however, $2.99 here. Um, I think I'll get about $22, $23 bucks for it. So not so bad on that one. And it does work. I did look up this like round casserole silver plated deal here and it wasn't worth much i mean it's 7.99 it's a fair deal it's just not worth much on ebay seemed that they had some uh stock carts out to kind of put like their general merchandise to, like not the thrifted stuff out right now and i see this yamaha they can go for some pretty decent money. I'm kind of steering a clear of large musical instruments uh, lately, just with uh, everything shipping that's involved with it. Those are the two items I pick up though at the Goodwill on this first trip here. And then I head over to the Salvation Army. I get this uh, question asked quite often, but this used to be a roller skating rink at one point. Somebody in the comments initially identified it, and then the manager said, yeah, it actually was a long, long time ago. So, yeah. Headed over here. And I, by the way, I love when buildings like that are repurposed, repurposed instead of torn down. Because this is kind of like how buildings looked like when I was a little kid. Like, they were, you know, like, hey, this became vacant and a flea market opened in it or whatever. And I just remember that's how it used to kind of be. So it's neat. I think if I were ever to open any kind of retail store, which is highly unlikely, ever very unlikely, I would want to repurpose a building because I think it would be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, this pump here, uh, I thought it would be good because it's a fish tank pump and some of that aquarium stuff can go for high dollar. But none were sold on eBay. However, this Revlon deal here, it's like one of those paraffin uh, bath deals. It actually has the three pounds of wax inside and is brand new. I have it listed, I want to say around the $50, $55 mark right now. And uh, I think that's going to be a pretty good thing to add to the store. Again, I think this specific one is dead stock. So if that's the case... It's going to be difficult to source elsewhere if that's the one you want. I do look at some of their speaker stuff here. Um, I will note that they still have it. It is um, a Dell 
setup, but it's just not worth much. It, for me, it would, wouldn't be worth much, I should say, because by the time the shipping would eat up everything. Uh, the Samsung bar and subsystem, I almost wanted for myself, but it's missing one of the cords, and I'm not looking on taking too many new projects on, and I say that right before I look at another humidifier. So I put a sold comp up on the screen, or I will, for 70 bucks. However, on my phone, I found one. It's so weird. You can find comps that are on your phone that aren't on desktop and vice versa. The eBay site's kind of old. Let's be fair about it. Uh, it could probably use uh, a refresh. But anyhow, uh, so this is a high comping uh, Bionair humidifier. So I'm going to take the gamble on it. And this Javalia sells for about 40 to $50. I want 5 dollars for it. I think it was like 5 dollars on that humidifier or something too. I'm taking a gamble on both. I do come over and test some basic features like the Javalia powers up and the uh, warmer works. So at least I know something on it works and it's not just, you know, dead. And I do the same thing while the warmer's warming up with the humidifier and you know I can see that the settings come on the screen or whatever comes on and then at least gives me some reassurance that's not completely dead however until I really test it out I'm not gonna know I've mentioned uh, in another video I, I bought a couple humidifiers humidifiers uh, kind of scare me a little bit in the sense that you know it's a water-based device so who knows if it works or not but we did uh, list these uh, oil lamps here. I believe I got them for about $1.99 a piece there. Uh, they're pink flamingos. And I uh, listed them for $29.99 each. And that is based off of sold comps, guys. So pretty good grab there. I think it'll be a slow seller, but that's okay. Um, I can't remember which ice skater this uh, globe was off the top of my head. It was only like $2.99 and comped very well. I was going to pick it up. However, it's missing some of the dangly, like blue things and stuff and the stars there so I didn't want to sell it at that point just because I would have to take less and it just it just didn't make sense at that point in fact I think I would have had the only incomplete snow globe listing so I do unfortunately put that back but I do come across something that's pretty topical right now so it's not any of the books or anything. However, I see these Dr. Seuss scrubs and they're medium, and normally I wouldn't buy these, but I'm gonna take a gamble on them because it's being talked about so much right now. And there are sold comps for this exact same set in medium for 20 bucks. So I think I'm paying $2 for these. So it'll ship first class. So I'll probably make about $10 or slightly more by the time uh, cost of goods fees and shipping are involved so it's worth it to me because it's easy as well it'll be a super quick list i'm pretty sure i'm paying two dollars yeah that's what it looks like there so uh not bad at all and there's uh i'm really doing my best to try and show the items to you guys better because i know that that's occasionally been a problem so here we are going into the goodwill again i believe this is just the next day uh right after it I don't know what it was that made me grab this record. Sometimes, you know, you pick off Instinct. Instinct was wrong. I don't get that record. I can't even remember what the artist was. I think the Sugar Hills actually like the label for that one. And I do, of course, notice the new stock card out here. So this is a Melissa and Doug floor puzzle. And I uh, listed it on my store for $24.99 based off of sold comps. They're asking $2.99. I won't make a killer amount of money because it will ship priority and I am including shipping. Uh, is free shipping there. And the little Spider-Man thing I pass on. The DJ Hero on there, it's $25. Those sell for $50. By the time I ship it out, pay fees and everything like that, there's really not a lot of meat on the bone. So uh, I don't get that. Uh, this Barbie has one sold for like $12.47 or something odd like that and a few listed and this one has a sticker I have to peel off so uh, I, th that guy's like oh you're putting that back because I was near the toy aisle I figured I just throw it on the toy aisle uh, he's like yeah I'm gonna go ahead and grab that I was like well go for it man so 
glad he was able to pick up something. Uh, it just wasn't the right fit for me. I do grab the big mouth Billy Bass there, so still have to test that one. So I haven't listed yet. And this is really cool. I love the Super Mario plush here. It's a newer one. Um, it does have some wear to it, but I think because it's a very large one, it's like over 22 inches. I measured it. Uh, I think we'll get about the $30 price point for that shipped. So I'll try and see if I can fit that in a mailer or bubble mailer or even a poly bag one. These uh, Build-A-Bear Ninja Turtles. So this guy is uh, Leonardo. Um, this was my favorite of the Ninja Turtles growing up as a kid. Uh, who was your favorite Ninja Turtle? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Because uh, I like Leonardo because he had the sword and, or swords. I think he had two of them, right? And like the katanas. And uh, he was the leader. And, you know, of course, as a little boy, I was like, oh, he's so cool. And then uh, there's <laughs> Michelangelo there. So, uh... I don't find all four Ninja Turtles here from the Build-A-Bear, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, this one uh, I've listed for $25 shipped as well. At this price point, I can do it. So it makes sense, uh, and I'll make some profit. This uh, Charlie Brown I don't get. Uh, it's actually a $5 plush from Kohl's, which is kind of crazy that it's only $5 at Kohl's. Just looking around because they've added to the plush. And this is a Build-A-Bear cheerleader. And I saw like the outfit was going for money. But like there was no bear with the outfit. Uh, so I kind of estimated that we get around that $30 price point. And I know a lot of these things will move easier like in the holidays. I mean, I, hopefully I don't have them that long. But, you know, if I do have one or two of them in Q4, you know, I'll be able to blow it out then. But most likely I'll sell, them, uh, sell through by then. Oh, man, I hope. <laughs> so, continuing to look around with my uh, pile of plush now. Just seeing what I can find. So, they had... Uh, this was one of them here, but in the aisle over, they had a few more. So, this is some kind of, like, lotion or something. Avon for men. And it really doesn't comp high enough to buy, unfortunately. Because sealed at $1.99 would normally be a good deal for a product like that but avon stuff uh some of it can be okay um the avon glass bottle stuff that market's crashed and flooded uh, that's a little different but yeah some of the uh, health and beauty aids that people will actually use they, they can be all right but uh not that one so i passed and uh, that's just a little recap of everything i picked up on my uh this is my second trip to goodwill in this video and then headed back into the salvation army so checking it out to see what i can find here now initially and i cannot remember uh you'll see me grabbing my cart but right off to the left here well i guess i go to the speakers first these speakers i can't remember for the life of me the brand right off the top of my head um, trying to read it. I can't. But anyways, they wanted $99 for them. They're about $200 speakers. But here's the thing. It's an as is thrift store. So I didn't feel very confident uh, in them. So I do. I, because like the thing is like they're really old. They're in great shape. I, I, like, I don't want to get stuck on them at 100. So I do pass. And anyways, the shipping would kill me. Uh, I'm really trying to be cognizant of deals that work for me. I think it's a great deal for somebody, or at least an okay deal for somebody that's, you know, going to use them. The uh, records there I pick up, they'll get about $15 a pop on them. Um, kind of want to make a little anecdote about the uh, records. Maybe I'll circle back to them in just a second. But I find these... Uh, wall scrolls like little banners for anime and stuff and so you know I quickly start thumbing through them all here and uh, taking a look so we did list 10 out of 12 of these already on our store and uh, since I look through them so quickly I'm gonna pop them all up on the screen after you know I grab these here in the video so you guys can see uh, you know what I listed them for and Maybe, you know, better pictures of them, I guess. That one's already sold. Um, 
the one that looks like Sailor Moon but isn't Sailor Moon. <laughs> I can't rem I forget off the top of my head. And we've got uh, that one's Final Fantasy VIII, and then the yeah. So um, a lot of these are like they're anime, um, but they're of like animes I don't really recognize much. So I know a little bit about like '90s came to America style uh, Japanese anime. However, um, so like the bigger stuff, like you know, like Akira, uh, things like that. So. These are ones that I'm not super familiar with. I think they're a little bit newer or um, in whatever. But yeah, uh, I know there's a market for these. They're two dollars and ninety nine cents a piece here at the at the store. So totally an awesome find for me. And they weren't the most difficult to get listed quickly. I mean, I think they were annoying. Well, I was listing other things. Jess uh, was taking photos of these. And as you can see, I'm popping them all up on the screen right now for you guys. And while you take a look at those, just real quick back to the record. Um, the second record there that had like Top Cat and Magella and everything, I think um, I'll get about 15 for it. The one that's listed there is the only other one that's listed, but there are sold comps around the $15 uh, dollar range. They're asking like 26, which I think is pretty high. They also mentioned that it was meant and it isn't. So that's something that uh, it's nice to kind of look at other listings. Uh, maybe I'll ask 20 for it. Who knows? <laughs> so I do see the Seiko clock. They actually put it in after I check out. I do pick that up because I think it's going to be worth about $50 shipped at $5.99. You know, 25, 30 bucks profit for me. Uh, totally worth it. And. I don't think it's going to be too tough of a sell to sell that little mantle clock. And it was in great condition. That's the thing it had going for it. So I go ahead and pick up my pile of stuff here and uh, go ahead and head on out. I think this is a pretty fun video to do. Just getting a couple days of sourcing uh, all in one video for you guys. Let me know how you liked it in the comments below. And also, please hit the like button, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the bell notifications. Follow me on Instagram at ProPickerOhio. Um, I don't know. Comment down below or something. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.